Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video. This time it is going to be an updated Dragoonity combo tutorial for what Romulus and Tempest allow this deck to do. Basically, I'm going to be showing you two combos in this combo tutorial that have been, you know, pertaining to questions that people have asked me on the deck profile I put up two days ago on, like, what cards like Twin Triangle Dragon are used for, where you position them in the combo, and questions on, like, what happens if you open too many extenders? Like, what do you do with those extra extenders if your play is still resolving? How do you use those extenders to better your ending board without getting, you know, clumped up or bogged down and, you know, making mistakes and doing stuff like that? So, what I'm going to be showing you in this video is the basic two-card combo of Sinidus plus Tuner and how it ends onto this board of a Hieratic Link that can bounce an opponent's card and summons Goliath on the opponent's turn. You have four cards in hand. You start with a two-card combo. You end with four cards in hand. You have Red Med, Crystal Wing, and Titanic Galaxy out. Titanic Galaxy specifically is out here to protect the Goliath. So I'm going to be showing you that. And then I'm going to be showing you another combo, which is Sinidus plus Tuner, plus literally any extender you could possibly play in your deck that has the capability of making Romulus. And that is a combo that ends on three negates of Crystal Wing, Titanic Galaxy, Borlode Savage Dragon, and the Hieratic Link with the ability to summon Goliath on your opponent's turn. Any extender makes that possible. It doesn't have to be a specific extender at all. Literally any three-card combo in your deck that involves Sinidus and an extender resolving gets you to that three negate combo. So I'm going to be showing you that in this video as well. But so before I tell you the combos and before I show you and hopefully answer a bunch of questions, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. I'd like to ask that you subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. And if you want to see more videos like this, there's also a fairly large backlog on the channel if you want to go check that out. But if you like this sort of content, definitely give it a thumbs up. It helps out a ton. And with that out of the way, let me show you exactly how this combo is performed. All right, so like I said, first combo is the baseline cookie cutter simplest combo. It's a two-card combo of Sinidus plus any Dragoonity tuner. It could be Phalanx or Coos. It doesn't matter which one it is. It used to matter which ones that you got in circulation before Romulus came out, but now it does not matter. And this, again, ends on two negations. The Hieratic Link, summoning Goliath on the opponent's turn, and one of your negations is Titanic Galaxy, which protects the Goliath. So, this is the simple bread-and-butter combo that you should know if you are playing this deck with these cards in it, in any capacity. But so, you're going to start by normal summoning Sinidus and discarding your Coos to the grave, which is going to then equip, specifically, a Coos from your deck. Now, you need to make Coos equipped from your deck instead of Phalanx, because you need a special Coos and then treat it as a level 4 to synchro with your Sinidus here into Dragoonity Knight Barca. So, we're going to use Barca to get our extra resources in play of equipping the two tuners from our graveyard and then special summoning both of them back to the field. And then you are going to link the Coos and the Barca in this instance into Dragoonity Knight Romulus. Now, Romulus here is going to search for our Dragoonity Divine Lance because we need the additional level 2 tuner from our deck in the form of Phalanx, because we need to get Phalanx in circulation, and we need the additional dragon to get to the guard dragon stage. So Romulus helps out all these combos so much, because previously you had to have four monsters in play by this point, because you had to have an extra dragon over here to make LP Pisty with, because you didn't get the add. But now we have Romulus, which just adds this for free, so that's nice. Very, very good <laughs> for these kinds of combos that this deck is trying to perform. But anyway, you're going to activate Divine Lance on your Romulus, and then you're going to use Divine Lance to specifically get Phalanx in circulation. If you already have Phalanx in your grave, it is not important that you equip Phalanx here, but I started with Sinidus Coos. I don't have Phalanx in circulation. I need Phalanx in circulation for a specific part of this combo, so I'm equipping it. And then you special it from your Spell and Trap Card Zone, link away into your LP, and then link away into your Pisty with your two tuners. And now we are ready to start doing the Guard Dragon part of the combo. You're going to use Elpy's effect to special summon the Red Eyes Darkness Metal from our deck. And we're going to use the Darkness Metal to summon specifically Phalanx back into the left hand zones. It doesn't matter which one of the zones it's in unless you're trying to put another extender into the play. But if you're doing that, you're it's pretty much safest to always summon the Phalanx here in this zone because this zone is going to be where we're putting our Crystal Wing or our Borlode Savage, whatever you decide to make. So this is where we need the tuner for that summon to be. Uh, so it's like safest to always summon it here, but you can get away with it being over here as well if you're not putting any extenders into this play, which we aren't doing in this example. But I'm just talking intricacies of how this deck can expand upon combos. 
But anyway, Link 2 with the Romulus and the Red Med into Agrapane over in the other extra monster zone from where you started. And you're going to use Agrapane's effect to summon the Gaederg from our extra deck because LP and Pisty still point to the same zone. Now you're going to use the Gaederg's effect and you're going to add Zephyros to your hand and then discard the Zephyros to the graveyard. Now if you had Zephyros in your hand, you could add Garuda to discard Zephyros, or you could just add another Tuner and discard Zephyros, or you could add Synodus to discard Zephyros. You could do whatever you want if Zephyros is in your hand. You can add whatever you want to keep and then discard Zephyros. Uh, Garuda is the best extender to add, but like, again, that's not part of this combo. That's a hypothetical. Uh, what I'm showing you is just the standard standard combo, but I'm trying to openly talk about how it can branch out so that it can assist people who have a little bit more knowledge with this deck into finding certain routes. But anyway, you are going to Synchro with the Gaederg and the Phalanx into Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. We specifically had to summon the Phalanx to make this because Kus can only be used to make Dragoonity Synchros, and this is not a Dragoonity Synchro. Now, you could make Borlode Savage Dragon here instead and equip the uh, Romulus from Grave to it for uh, two negates, but if you are doing what this combo does, which is resolving Saryuja, you are going to be possibly drawing into another extender, like uh, Garuda or Mistletin, or possibly even like Gold Sark from Tempest, that will allow you to get access to enough cards to make Borlode Savage Dragon on the back half of the combo. Whereas that has a more generic summoning requirement, whereas Crystal Wing requires the non tuner be a synchro. So Crystal Wing is like easier to make here than Borlode Savage Dragon. Um, would be like later in the combo if that makes sense because like if i made borlode savage dragon here and then drew into the proper extender to make a uh, borlode savage dragon later that extender might not always make crystal wing in that place if that makes sense so crystal wing is just like the like muscle memory card i make here even though this is a two negate combo and if you're not trying to expand upon it you could make borlode savage dragon here because that is strictly a superior negation card but i digress Pisty effect is going to be activated here, and you're going to special summon the Red-Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon from your graveyard, and you are going to use Red-Eyes Darkness Metal to revive one of your tuners back. It doesn't necessarily matter which one, because it's just going to be Link Fodder immediately. You're going to link away all three Guard Dragons and Arcus that we just revived into our Saryuja Skulldread over in the EMZ we started in. So wherever your Crystal Wing is, Saryuja needs to be over, away from that. Uh, I usually start in the right-hand DMZ, go to the left with my aggro pain, and then come back to the right, because it's more convenient for uh, Twin Triangle Dragon to uh, operate that way. But anyway, Saryuja was made with four materials, so we are going to use its effect to just draw four cards, and then just put three back. So we get to go up to four cards in hand, and we got to sculpt our hand, putting cards back and stuff. So that's also noteworthy, is that if you had Goliath in your opening hand, you get to put Goliath back into your deck off of this Saryuja. But anyway, Red Med has been used, so we're going to return it to our hand to summon Blackwing Zephyros the Elite, take 400 life, and then we're going to use Saryuja's effect to special from hand. We're going to special the, uh, the uh, Red Med all the way over here in the left-hand zone. So this Zephyros has allowed us to correct our Darkness Metal placement as well as get another use out of its effect, uh, which is what we wanted. But so, Red Med is going to revive Kus again, and then you are going to synchro the Kus and the Zephyros, into our second Barca. Now this Barca is going to equip all the tuners from Grave that we have in circulation, which for this combo you always have three. You only need to use two of them here, but one is left over for, again, if you had an extender, like if you drew Mistleton or whatever, you'd be able to utilize that. But what we're going to be doing here is we're just going to be special summoning two tuners, and this is where Twin Triangle Dragon comes into play. So we're going to Link Grow Summon, Link Grow Summon, Twin Triangle Dragon. Uh, Link Twin Triangle Dragon is uh, when it's summoned, it points to this empty zone. Uh, you can pay 500 life and target a level five or higher dragon in your graveyard. Special summon it; it can't attack this turn, and its effects are negated. So you just use that to special summon the Barca, the very first Barca we use in the combo. And then you're going to overlay the two Barcas. The Phalanx falls off because it's not equipped to anything on the board anymore, and you make the Titanic Galaxy. And then you just make the Saryuja and the Twin Triangle Dragon into the Hieratic Link, which can be in either EMZ. It doesn't matter because either one uh, like loses to Mech Knight placement unless you were to make the Titanic Galaxy over here while the Saryuja was still up here. Then you could play around Mech Knight, sort of, but usually that's not really that big of a factor because like you're just 
you, you have a lot of stuff that they, that, that deck's hard to deal with. Uh, that deck finds th these, these things to be hard to deal with, right? Uh, but so this is the basic turn one combo with Senatus plus Tuner and no other cards. You have, again, the Hieratic Link, which can non-target bounce a card on your opponent's turn and then gets to summon a Morphage Goliath from your deck, so that's nice. Uh, and then you have the, uh, the capability of expanding this further into three negates with literally any extender in your deck, and that is what I'm going to show you now. All right, so this combo is Synodus plus Tuner. Now, it is notable that you need Phalanx in circulation for this combo to be done, so it has to be, like, foolish on Phalanx. You, you have to, like, have Phalanx in your opening hand with Synodus, or you could just have, like, any way to get Phalanx into play, along with resolving Synodus, and then you just need any extender, right? Now, what do I mean by extender? I actually mean a lot more than what you might think. Like, Ravine counts as an extender because it gets an extra tuner name in circulation. Like, Divine Lance counts as an extender because we're not going to be using it off of the um, off of the Romulus. Uh, Destrudo is an extender. Reborn, like, cards to trigger Dark Worm. Cards of Consonance to load more Dragoonity tuners in Grave to equip off Barca, like, are all extenders. Literally any way to summon a monster, like Garuda, Cockadoodle Doo, Instant Fusion. Literally any way to get to an additional card on the board to where you're going into making Romulus with two dragons and four total monsters on board is a fantastic way to make this combo happen. You have to get Phalanx into circulation. That is the only stipulation for the combo. So it's Synodus, an extender, and a way to get Phalanx into circulation. Now that could be opening Phalanx, or it could be, you know, having like Divine Lance in your hand, or like Ravine or whatever. Uh, so which one do I want to show you? Like, I think I'll just show you the one that is Ravine, honestly. Uh, because like, this is the, this is like the easiest one to like, quantify and understand. So like, Synodus, and it doesn't even have to be Phalanx at this point, either, if you're using Ravine. It could just be Synodus plus Tuner, plus Ravine. I don't know, there's, there's a lot of variables that go into this. The only, like, set in stone, like, stipulation is that you have to have four monsters when you're going in to make Romulus, you have to be able to make Barca, and you have to have Phalanx in circulation. But so, like, Ravine counts as an extender here because you've already got the starting cards that you need, but this is just going to generate an extra card for you because you're going to be able to discard Tuner to Grave and add another Tuner, right? So, for this hand, we'll activate Ravine, we'll discard the Phalanx, and we will add a tuner to our hand. And we'll normal Senatus, use Senatus, discard the tuner, and then we will equip Coos from deck. Right? So we have Phalanx in circulation, and now we're about to Barca equip three. So that counts as our extender. Ravine discarding Phalanx and adding a different tuner counts as our extender there because we're going to get this Phalanx back when we resolve Barca. So Coos and Senatus to grave into Dragoonity Knight Barca. Barca, using its effect, will equip all three of these. And so at this point, like, this is what I mean by, like, you need Phalanx in circulation, but it doesn't have to be Ravine. Ravine is an extender here because it got us this extra card. Normally you equip two here, but we got to equip three. Now this could have been Destrudo, Resolve Dark Worm, Instant Fusion for Dark Fire, or Mavelis on the starting end of the combo. Whatever you wanted it to be, right? As long as it put another monster on the board to where you... It could be Divine Lance as well. As long as you don't have to add Divine Lance off of, um, off of Romulus. That is what you need for this combo to work. And you need to have Phalanx in circulation, obviously, as we've already gone over. But so, in this case, Barca, equip all three of these, special all of them, link the Barca and the Coos away into Romulus. And now in this instance, Romulus is going to add another Dragon Ravine to our hand. This is what's important about this combo. You, be, you basically can always do this combo if you've made Barca and if you are getting to add Dragon Ravine off of Romulus because you have enough monsters to make adding Divine Lance not matter, right? But you do need Flanks in circulation because you have to be able to make your, you know, tuners, uh, you have to be able to synchro into things that aren't Dragoonities, right? If that makes sense, right? This one's a bit complex to understand. Like, it's it's definitely not cookie cutter. <laughs> it's not cookie cutter in any way. But so you're going to use the Flanks and the Coos that are left over on the board in this instance to make LP and Pisty. You're going to use LP to summon your Red Med from deck. Red Med is going to bring back the Phalanx that was so important that we got into circulation because we need to be able to make the Crystal Wing. You're going to do the same motions we did in the previous combo, linking these two into Agrapan. And then you're going to use Agrapan to special summon our Gaydurg. Uh, it's also noteworthy that if you did the regular Synodus plus Tuner combo, but you drew into Zephyros, so you're able to add, like, Ger uh, Garuda and discard Zephyros, 
this combo is also possible. So Zephyros even becomes an extender uh, in this instance, in, in like a variation of this combo, a permutation of this combo. But so you're going to activate Gatorg's effects, you're going to add Zephyros to your hand and discard it to your graveyard, and then you're going to synchro the Gatorg and the Phalanx into our Crystal Wing here. Now we're guaranteed making Borload Savage Dragon later, so we are 100% making Crystal Wing here, no debate. But so, Pisty's effect is going to be used, and we are going to special summon back the red med. I keep picking up my deck when I activate like my aggro pain and my pisty. It's a problem. <laughs> it is a problem. 100%. Alright, so now, at this point what we are going to do is we are going to replace the ravine we started the combo with, with our added ravine, and then we are going to use ravine to discard literally any card out of our hand. Uh, in this case it's just upstart goblin. It doesn't matter what it is. We're discarding to send a dragon from deck to grave, and what we're sending is Tempest. We're sending Tempest to Grave off of the newly played Ravine. Now this is important because this is how we're going to play out this combo. We're going to activate Red Med, reviving the Tempest from our graveyard. And then we are going to link the Agrapane, the Pisty, and the Elpi into a 3 material Saryuja Skulldred. So we don't get to draw any cards here, but that's fine because we're not trying to dig for any extra resources to finish out a combo. And we're also not trying to be greedy because our combo only ends on two negations and three interruptions. This is our best combo in terms of what our ending board is. And we're doing this with literally all of our free generic extenders in our deck. And even cards that are normally starter cards like our Ravine and like cards of consonants and stuff like that are fueling this combo further like acting as extenders for it. So that's nice. But anyway, so we've summoned the Tempest off of our Red Med. Red Med has been used, so we're going to bounce Red Med to our hand for Zephyros. Being summoned in this zone again, we're going to take 400, and now we are going to banish the Tempest from our board to special summon the Darkness Metal from our hand. And now Tempest will trigger, and we get to add our Mistleton to our hand because it gets to search for any Wind Dragon when banished. It doesn't, matter, it doesn't care where it's banished from, and like that's... That's, that's peak Tempest use right there. S foolish it, revive it, banish it. Big nice. So many steps to resolve a Tempest search. But anyway, so Red Med hasn't used its effect yet since it's been freshly summoned. So we're going to use Red Med to special summon Kus from our graveyard. And we're going to synchro the Kus and the Vajrayana. Not Vajrayana, the Zephyros. Jesus. I haven't summoned Vajrayana in months. Why was that the card on my mind? <laughs> Into our uh, Barka. And then Barka here is going to equip our tuners. Now it doesn't matter how many tuners you get to equip, uh, like you only need two to finish out the combo, literally doesn't matter, you could just be equipping two because that's all that's going to be summoned anyway, but you have the three here to summon, so I will. Uh, well I'll at least equip them, you're not going to be able to summon them, you don't have enough space. But so you special two, and you're going to link those two into Twin Triangle Dragon. Again, we're going to pay 500, and we're going to special summon the Barka to the zone that the Twin Triangle Dragon points to, right? And then you are going to link the two Barkas, not link, Jesus, man, it's late. It's late, my brain is fried. I'm trying to do these combos. <laughs> You're going to make Titanic Galaxy with your two Barkas. Huh. Your uh, extra tuner that was on the Barka uh, falls off because it's no longer capable of being equipped to anything because it's not on the board anymore. And we still have not used Saryuja's effect to special summon a monster from our hand because Red Med was summoned by Banishing Tempest. It was summoned through its own um, built-in mechanic. So we're going to use Saryuja's effect to special summon the, t uh, the uh, Mistleton from our hand. Mistleton on summon because it's special summon from hand. We'll equip the Phalanx from Grave to it. And then we will just link the Saryuja and the Twin Triangle Dragon into our Hieratic Seal. And then we have the free space to special summon the Phalanx. And then we get to sink the Mistleton and the Phalanx into Borload Savage Dragon. And the Savage Dragon gets to equip Saryuja from Grave because that's our biggest link that is in there. So Savage Dragon gets four negates on it. It gets four counters, it gets four negates, and goes up to 4,400. So at this point, you still have an open zone for the Hieratic Link to tribute itself and summon our Goliath from deck over here. Uh, you have so much nonsense going on. Um, you're st you didn't get to draw off Sarguja, but that's irrelevant because we got to resolve full combo. And this was just having an extender. It didn't matter what the extender was. Obviously, you could do this combo so much more like easily if your extender was Mistleton, 
because obviously, like, if your extender was Mistleton or Garuda, then you no longer have to dig for those cards, and you can just do the full combo as earlier shown with the two-card combo, and then just at the very end of the combo, you're like, huh, Savage Dragon. But if you don't have those cards, because, you know, those cards are not the large portion of your deck, but you do have extenders like Destrudo, Dark Worm, Instant Fusion, Cockadoodle Doo, whatever you have access to, Cards of Consonants for extra Dragoonity Tuners, Ravine discarding a Dragoonity Tuner to add another tuner to discard off Sandidus, making your first Barka able to equip three instead of two. Basically, all of these situations, all these permutations, just play around with your deck and like explore what goes into your Romulus because normally you will be able to get here. This is the like best generic like three card combo in the deck because like the third card is literally just any card that gathers you one additional resource. And that is why I like cards like Cards of Consonants in my deck where some people don't because they're like they don't look at the discard of the Dragoonity Tuner as a plus one, but I mean it is when the Barka resolves because it allows you to go for this. Uh, Divine Lance, again, is another card that, like, it sucks to draw, but if you draw Divine Lance with Sinatus Tuner, then that means you get to do this combo, because this equips Phalanx from your deck, specials it, and then you get to search Ravine off of your Romulus, right? So, like, you end with one card in hand, like, you've used a lot of cards for this combo, but you're still at a net gain, and your board is built, and you've achieved your win condition, so, like, it's very, very easy to overlook these kinds of interactions, and this is only, like, really possible in a good way because Tempest is legal. Like, if we were trying to send Mistleton and revive it, we'd be a card short. But we have the Tempest that can search Mistleton from deck when we banish it for Red Med, which is, like, really nice as well. Like, all the pieces just sort of fell together for this combo to be possible. Uh, you use 13 cards out of your extra deck, the 13 cards you're using for going first comboing, uh, and basically, yeah. This is, this is the gist of what we're trying to do uh, with, like, the big wide, the big nice combo. So, like I said, it could be, like, any way to get an extra card in play in addition to Sinidus plus Tuner. The only stipulation is that you have to have Phalanx in circulation because you cannot search Divine Lance and equip Phalanx from deck. But, that said, if you have Sinidus plus Tuner plus Ravine... Uh, like, you could just equip, you can search Divine Lance and equip that. Uh, like, you can play Ravine in different ways for the starting point of the combo. There's a lot of different things that can be explored as far as, like, how this can be approached. But this is the gist. Like, you, you turn Sinidus plus Tuner plus a generic card to get another card in play into this board. And that is my, that, that is my Xanax. That is what I like about this deck. That is what keeps me pulled back to this. But anyway... That is it for this one. I'm sure that there's probably some of you that got a lot more questions than answers from this video. I am sorry, but if you have questions, leave them in the comments down below. As always, I will do my best to address things like them. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your comments and feedback and thoughts and stuff are in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new here, like I said earlier. If you want to catch weekly live streams, I do four a week over on Twitch. Link is in the description, and if you want to join my channel's Discord server and talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! anime and other stuff, link is in the description as well. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video.